Uh, Professor Robinson, welcome to the program. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's, let's get into the problem at hand here. You are being investigated by the university uh, for sending an email to uh, a list of your students, actually to the whole class, uh, it, which it parallels between Nazis and Zionism, on Zionists, what they have done in Gaza and what the Nazis did in, uh, in World War II. Now, what is the problem you think? I mean, uh, uh, did you send that as part of your classwork or did you send that because you felt like you need to get this out to people for whatever reason? Well, well, let me clarify one thing. I sent it as part of the course material, and I'm going to explain the, the, the back, backdrop. But part of academic, academic freedom does, does, uh, involves a professor interpreting events in the world. It's completely false to suggest that if a professor gives his or her opinion or views or interpretation of affairs in the world, that that is not permitted in the classroom. On the contrary, that's an intimate and an integral part of the classroom experience. On January 19, as part of my course on the sociology of globalization, I sent to a listserv, and I need to explain that this listserv is set up for professors in order for professors to distribute materials to their students in the co students in the context of the courses that they teach. So I, a part, portion of the reading material that I uh, sent to my students is distributed as books and as articles that they purchase in, in the bookstore, and another part is distributed to them on this listserv that the university university sets up. So I forwarded to my students on January 19, uh, on the internet there had been a uh, juxtaposition of photos on one side uh, were photos of Nazi atrocities against Jews in World War II, and on the other side were Israeli atrocities against Palestinians during the invasion of, of Gaza. And I didn't put these for this photo essay together, rather uh, it had been circulating on the internet, and I forwarded that to my students as well, and I forwarded these two items as part of classroom discussion on the Israeli invasion of Gaza as that uh, one of the most pressing world events for that week. Now, this is totally within the normal procedures for any uh, class on contemporary affairs at any university in the United States. The reason I am under investigation is because uh, once I circulated this material, the Israel lobby, in the form of the Anti-Defamation League, the Weissenthal Center, stand with us and Campus Watch, four of the main organizations involved in the Israel lobby in the United States, uh, immediately intervened in the university and began to pressure university officials to prosecute me. And some of these officials violated all norms of due procedure, all norms of academic freedom, uh, and all procedural uh, uh, um, measures that involve academic freedom and, uh, and actually brought these charges against so me. So what, 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 um, what do they want you to do? Do they want you to apologize or do they want you fired? Well, if you mean by they, meaning the Israel lobby, uh, the, the Israel lobby, the ADL, and so forth. No, well, they, they obviously want me fired, and they have actually no business intervening in the university, and it makes no difference what they want. They are simply mouthpieces for is and to defending Israeli state actions. Now, Professor, you have been called an anti-Semite, even though I understand you are Jewish yourself? First, first of all, I'm Jewish myself, but secondly... I'm sure you and your listeners are aware that this is simply a ploy. This is a tactic of the Israel lobby. Anytime anyone criticizes the policies and the practices and the conduct of the Israeli state, he or she is labeled as an anti-Semite. This is intended to stifle any criticism of Israeli policies. Is that Professor Robinson, don't you think, regardless of what happens in this case, that the ADL actually won? Because, and I'll tell you why, because this is a form of intimidation and I think there should be laws out there against it because, you know, this is, this is academic terrorism, uh, if I might call it that, uh, with you being number one, I want to stress the fact that you are Jewish and the Jewish organization is, is after you. And uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to send a message to all professors that if they went after Professor Robinson, they're going to come after me. So everybody just, they're not going to say what's on their mind and they're not going to teach what's in their conscience. Uh, don't you think they won either way? 
Well, I agree with everything you said, except that, except the final comment. Uh, I think your analysis is absolutely accurate, but I don't think they won yet. I think their intention, of course, is to use me. And by the way, I want to read you something in just a moment so your listeners can hear this. But their intent is to simply use me as a litmus test to basically uh, uh, intimidate and silence any critics of Israeli state policy by saying, look, we went after Robinson. We made his life miserable, and uh, so no one else should, should open their mouths. And obviously, that's the intent, and that's why I agree with you. But actually, uh, this bat particular battle is not over, and I think uh, uh, I am going to be vindicated, and I think the message is going to be sent out that, uh, that academic freedom can be defended, uh, and that we're not going to put up with these types of, uh, of what you, I think you aptly described as academic terrorism. Uh, I have two things, though, that I want to add to your question, and the first is that one of the organizations aligned with the uh, Anti-Defamation League is um, Stand With Us, and this is an organization set up just a few years ago specifically to silence any criticism on college campuses of Israel, and the, the director, international director of Stand With Us, her name is Roz Rose, uh, Rothstein, uh, made some very important statements about two weeks ago, and she said that this, meaning the com campaign against me, could be a major building point for academic freedom cases around the world. This could be a precedent-setting case for other universities. That's in quotes. And she went on to say that we basically represent the position of the uh, of the, uh, the, the the Israeli is we represent the state of Israel on, on campuses in the United States. So again, your your analysis is is correct. But here's what I want to point out. This is very important. Israel might be winning the military battle in Gaza uh, because it's the fifth most potent military machine in the world, as as you know. But it's been losing the battle of legitimacy, particularly since the 2006 invasion of Lebanon, followed by this brutal invasion. Of, uh, uh, of Gaza. And so the Israel lobby and the defenders of Israeli state actions are becoming increasingly uh, desperate. You know that the uh, APAC, which is really the, the nerve center for the Israel lobby in the United States, uh, held its, its uh, convention in early May. And at that convention, the director of APAC, Howard Carr, uh, he opened up the convention by saying that there's a huge and growing international campaign against the policies of Israel. And for that uh, reason, because this campaign is growing, and because it's gaining uh, supporters and because Israel is losing support when it's uh uh, as it becomes exposed, that they need to step up their their uh, their attacks against public intellectuals and, and and people that are quite visible, such as professors on, on on campus. So this is really, I think, I think this is not about Robinson, Professor Robinson here, but it's a much larger battle, uh, and and uh, it could go either way at this point. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, the legitimacy of the gun always uh, surpasses all legitimacies uh, out there. Um, now, l l tell us what is happening right now uh, at your university. When, when is this meeting supposed to be taking place? How, what is the investigation supposed to uh, entail? Right. Well, the, again, it started way back in in uh, in, in February when the uh, these two students who were t who were had been meeting with the ADL uh, filed uh, grievances against me, and then uh, and you know for a fact that they have been meeting with the ADL. Oh, yes, this is totally documented. Let me just tell you a, bit, a little bit of the history about what went on here. This is not only documented, but, that, but it's, all, it's all public. Uh, on January 19, I sent this course material for the students' reading. On February 9, the Anti-Defamation League sent me a letter with a, uh, uh, copies to the president of the University of California, to the chancellor of my campus, to the chair of my department, a whole slew of, of CCs. That's February 9, saying uh, we don't like what Robinson did. We, we want him punished. On February 19, then, the students modeled after that same letter, uh, and, and by the way, between January 19 and, and February 19, this one-month period, the students met with the ADL, with Stand With Us, with Weisenthal, and they were advised to, to lodge grievances. They lodged these grievances on February 19. By the way, all of this is posted, the original documents, on that blog site. On March 9, Abraham Foxman, who is the president of the Anti-Defamation League, uh, flew into Santa Barbara, and he met with faculty members and with high-level officials of the university, and they, for one hour, just discussed my situation, and Foxman demanded that I be prosecuted. And it was just a few days later then that the uh, officials decided to go ahead and prosecute me. Uh, so all of this is, is, uh, is thoroughly documented and in public. Okay. Um, so now what is the latest uh, 
with yeah. this investigation. So, so in, um, in April, the, uh, what's known as the Charges Committee, which is the, the, the committee in, within the Academic Senate that receives grievances from students, set up uh, what's called an ad hoc committee to investigate me. And that ad hoc committee has been operating uh, sort of as a secret tribunal. I have no idea at this point at what stage their, their investigation has, has reached. Uh, they've, since they've formed it, it was formed in April, so now we're, we are in, in late June, so they've had three months and their investigation continues. But I need to say that in the meantime, beyond the, the faculty has continued to mobilize, and the uh, faculty uh, called a, um, a passed a resolution in the Academic Senate. And this resolution, uh, I doubt... Very good. Uh, Professor Robinson, I uh, just want to say thank you for coming on the program. We will uh, follow up on uh, your story, and hopefully we will have you back here. Uh, to celebrate after this is all over with. Thank you, sir, for coming on the program. It would be my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.